Hi, so welcome to this video. So today I'm going to go through some simple nomenclature. In this video, I'm going to go from the name, so the IUPAC name, and go into drawing the full structural formula or diagram for that one. So the first one I want to start with is 234 trimethylhexane. So if we pull this apart, we know that our backbone is hex. So remember, you've got meth. F, prop, bute, pent, hex, hept, oct, non, and dec. Now this is uh, the number of carbon. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So if I have hexane, that's telling me that I've got a six carbon chain, which is my main backbone, and ane is an alkane, so I've got single bonds between those carbons. So putting those things together, I've got a hexane, so let's draw out our six carbon single bond. Now looking at the front part of this, I've got 234 trimethyl. So when we're looking at our numbers, this is indicating the carbons that it's coming off. So we've got one coming off carbon two, one coming off carbon three, one coming off carbon four. And then I say try to indicate that there's three groups in total that are coming off. And then I have the methyl. So if I was to have two carbons coming off the same number, uh, two groups coming off the same carbon number, sorry, um, I would put a two, two, three trimethyl. So with this one here, they're all off different carbon numbers. Doesn't matter which end I choose as that starting point. I naturally have a side that I choose, but it doesn't, there is no preference. It's the same compound if you go to name it. So I'm going to go two, three, four, and they're just methyls, so they're just a single carbon coming off there. So now I can go through and put in all my hydrogens. Knowing that each carbon makes four bonds, that would give me the number of hydrogens that I need to add. So just counting up to every carbon and making sure it's got four lines coming off it. So that would be how we would do that example. Now to try something a little bit different, let's have a go at... 3,3-difluorobutene. So we've got 3,3-difluorobutene. So now you can see we've got an ene, so that's a, a double bond. An ene was a, a single bond. Bute, what's our number of carbons? Four. Four carbon. And we've got the fluoro. And we've got one on carbon three and another one on carbon three. So if we start with our backbone, one, two, three, four, we've got a double bond. It's not saying where that double bond is. So if it doesn't say, it's between carbons one and two. If it's not between carbons one and two, then it will indicate the number of it. So if it's between three and four, it's not the, not with this example, but if it was, um, on a longer chain between three and four, then you would have to say the lowest out of those two numbers. So you would say but three ene, or you can have the three out the front so it says three butene. So if we look at this one here, we've got four carbons, we've got our double bonds. So that's good for our skeleton at the moment. And then we've also got to put in three, three difluoro. So when I put this double bond in, I've labeled this carbon as one. So this is two, and then this one here would be three, and I've got two fluorines. So now I can go through and make four bonds to each carbon by adding in my hydrogens. So I've got two here, so I need two more. I've got two and one, so I only need one more. This one's already got four bonds, and this one here would require three more. So that is alkane, alkene. Let's have a go at an alcohol example. <laughs> 